So some might have seen recently or in the past couple days how the Catholic Church is being targeted. Um, so I don't buy this at all. I mean, I think, I think the church is targeting. I think the Catholic Church itself is targeting itself. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's funny that throughout history, it's like they always target the Catholics, right? Do they really? Or is it just the church doing it? Because the, the, the Catholicism religion is the most corrupted of all. I know that upsets some people, but again, it's about truth. You know, I'm not I'm not telling you that you can't still have your Catholicism, but I, I said this a long time ago. I'm going to say it again, and then I'm going to read a verse, and and you yourself, if anybody having difficulty here, you reconcile it, you reconcile it with your your that because what what has happened in the Catholic religion the most. There's been so many children that have been sodomized, have been abused, whether by nuns, priests, deacons, pastor, or, um, yeah, pastors in some cases. But the religion of Catholicism is where the most harm has been done to children as, as far as um, denominations. Not that any of, I, that's why I don't, I don't support any of the denominations. And here's why. Because there's no way that Jesus would support Catholicism, most especially Catholicism. Not a chance. What was the most important thing that Jesus was, what, what, what did he say he would do to those that don't protect children, to those that harm children? It would be better for you to have a millstone around your neck because the almighty wrath of God will be you know, people don't even, you can't even imagine what that wrath is like because everybody's vision of Jesus is like this hippie vision. Jesus was not a hippie. Like you flip the tables over in the church because of the the stupid people sell, buying and selling in the church, disgracing everything all the time. And it was all your leadership then, even then. But the everyday people too. But this idea that, that Jesus was just some hippie, no, he was not. No, he, he was trying to help the people get through this jungle. Um, when Jesus returns, it, 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 it may be a good day for some, for sure. It'll be the worst day. It will be the worst time for anybody that is under the wrath of God. Because it's not, it's not pretty. Not at all. And, and and there'll be a ton of people that because they lost somebody close to them or they fell away from the faith because they thought, oh, screw God. There's be I could see so many people and the Bible talks about this happening. Yeah, that people will become impatient and fall away. That would be a big mistake, too, because ultimately you're not going to make God feel guilty. God's given a long time for people to get it. Um. So this is this is what I would say for the Catholics because I'm not blaming the parishioners of Catholicism. I'm just saying what's what I've always wondered is why haven't you yourselves denounced and said we we can't hold this religion up anymore. But you hold the religion up, the denomination up at the cost of children. Because do you know how many um pedophiles go in to become priests and deacons and bishops all just so they can abuse children. Yeah. So I, I so people can believe what they want, but this is um Ephesians 5 6. I think God makes it very, very clear here. But again, if so you have to wreck is it is it is it the denomination or is it Jesus? Because I think it's kind of clear here. But your priest would probably read it differently. Um, Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them. Therefore, do not become partners with them. For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose it. 
for it is shameful even to speak of the things they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. So all those people that say, you can manifest your best life, which, that totally goes against what, no, you can have that in the in eternal life when Jesus comes and judges the world and then uh, the wicked are removed. Yeah, that, then that's a different story then. But um, Jesus, Jesus basically just says where you're living, making the best use of your time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Holy Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks and always for everything to God the Father in uh, Lord Jesus Christ's name. So the reason this is important is because it also talks in the Bible about people growing weary and falling away from faith and then resenting God. The, there, in that day of wrath, there will be so many people that have resented God. And I, I don't know why people get on that kick. Because it's not like God's going to feel guilty about it. I think there's this belief in this world that, oh, it'll make God feel bad. No, God, God will be more than happy to get rid of you if that's the attitude you're going to have. If, if, if you're going to go through this whole life and not see the truth, and then you want to get mad at God, and you're not looking at yourself, then yeah, no, God, that's why God's, that's why it says, um, uh, discern, be, uh, where was it? For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Take no part in the unfruitful works of dark, darkness, but instead expose them. Um, I talked about discerning, to be careful, or not be careful, but uh, do your best to discern. So, um, sorry, I got, I can't find, oh, here it is. Walk as children of the light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Jesus isn't saying um, uh, what is pleasing to you, it's what is pleasing to the Lord. That's why it's good to ask God what's your, you know, I, I turn my will and my life over to you, God. I, may I do your will. That's, that's the easiest route to go. Um, because it's not about um, you having your best life. If it's about you having your best life, then it'll be a short one. Because when God returns, it's like, yeah, well, now, now you just sacrificed eternal life for that. But there will be more people that do that. They, that will be the path they're on. They're, they already are. So, um, the very fact that none of the leadership, the Pope, any of them, have ever said that we should end the Catholic religion is a disgrace, in my opinion. I know I'll get a lot of hate, and that's okay. Because had, had some of those leaderships... It's not like people couldn't have just gone to the Bible and still known God. Yet people get so attached to a denomination that the denomination itself self becomes what is worshipped and Jesus is, is not even... And it's like, no, I would rather be in my denomination. Uh, with the amount of children that have been harmed under Catholic, um, Catholic charities, Catholic diocese, all through the years. Um, just think about all the people that still stand by the Catholic faith. Wouldn't that be taking up partnership with evil? You can keep saying it's a separated, they're separated incidences, but it's all been done under one denomination. 